Well, it is that time again. Halloween is almost here as well as the start of the sugar season. It starts with Halloween and then I always say it doesn't end until Easter. We've got Christy Code Red joining us now with some real practical real life solutions. She says it boils down to a choice whether you want to give in and eat the start of the sugar season with all the candy bars and whatnot. It's tough. You have, it's but tough. it is but so I have, tough. I Christy have Nichol. great ideas that, that people just wouldn't think about. Okay. You know, that's going to help. First thing you can real do. Real life on, ones, like we said. Real life Practical ideas. Ones. Yeah, not just, uh, you know, things that you can actually do, start doing right now. Okay. The first thing to do is eat, but on, on Halloween night, you want to eat a good dinner. Now, your idea uh, and my idea of a good dinner might be a little bit different. So I'm talking about a high fat, high protein, high fiber dinner that's going to keep you full and keep you from snacking okay. on your candy. Chili's and always a chili, tradition in my family there, on and that's Halloween just night. Fine. Yeah. Chili is totally but the fine. idea is you fill up that belly so you don't right. snack. You don't because you're the, it's le, you're less likely. Okay. You know, every every one of us has bleaching trays, don't we? We all like bleaching our teeth. I do too. If you bleach your teeth while you're passing out candy, chances are you are not going to eat the candy. All right, you're, you're, you can't eat while you're passing out. Mm -hmm. You can't eat afterwards. You either. don't want to waste the bleaching treatment. You really so. don't. You can chew gum. That's okay. a great way to deter you from. Uh, eating the candy. An, an, another, which I think is probably your favorite idea. This was my favorite idea, you pick guys. Pick a candy that you don't like. I hate these. I hate Three Musketeers. I'm not going to eat them. So guess what? If I'm going to pass out candy, I'm going to have Three Musketeers because so I won't eat them. When you go to the grocery store, whatever candy, you're going to pass out at your home, buy stuff you don't like. Right. Okay. That way you will not. Make your costume work for you. Okay. So a great thing is have vampire teeth, uh, <laughs> bubba teeth, things that make it difficult to actually you know, eat yeah. anything and, you know, fake <laughs> blood on your mouth. If things, you know, make it to where it's tough. Because you're not going to want to take these you out can't. and back in and out and back and in. You can't, and you can't eat while okay. you have these in. Uh, and who wants to eat when they have a mask? Who's wearing a mask? You can't do that. So you can have a costume that covers up parts of your body that deter you from eating the food. And, hey, guess what doesn't mix with wigs? What's that? Uh, popcorn balls. <laughs> popcorn, you know those popcorn balls, the high sugar ones? I Just coming here to the studio, there's hair all over my car. You're not going to want to get near the food table with a wig on. It's going to get everywhere. <laughs> you know, and you can put things on your hands to make it to where you can't put anything in your hand. Mm -hmm. You know, it sounds so simple, but guys, make it to where it's hard for you to, to stuff your face with the junk food. Yeah, and you've got little skeleton hands. And I got there. little that gloves. Yeah, they make all kinds of little gloves that you can put on that are just going to, there's going to keep food out of your hands and ultimately food out mm -hmm. of your mouth. We have a carnival at um, my son's school tomorrow, and you said, you know, if I'm tempted by some of the sugary snacks that may be there, remove myself from the situation oh. and go to just another part of the carnival. Or Absolutely. Or, or come up with a job that you can do like driving the hayride truck or passing out tickets at your local church event or something that's going to help you stay away from the junk altogether. Remove yourself from the situation. It's much easier to change your behavior than change the situation. Okay, because we still want to enjoy Halloween. Yes, we There's do. There's so many events. Yes. I mean, some of the events are even starting now with the various trunk or treats and whatnot. Right. And your idea and on you this one too. And guys, you don't have to be the the bah humbug. I know that's a different holiday, but you don't have to be the, that neighbor that passes out oranges. You know, you can pass out little <laughs> toys that are fun, bubbles, pencils, little things. Little things. You don't have to pass out junk food. Don't contribute to the obesity crisis. Okay, so we, so or, you know, there's a, I think I don't. Legend is he's a dentist on Harrison Boulevard, and he passes out um, toothbrushes. Yes. So yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and I know. I know. I like that idea, but I'm an adult. Rick, Rick's over there laughing. I know. At Are you. you laughing at us over and there? Mark's kind of laughing too. Oh my too, goodness. But, yeah, well. So okay, but Christy, how do I? How do I? What do I do to stop this? So my kids bring home the candy. Right. And then I sneak it and grab it, and and then I. Wear gloves. Wear gloves. <laughs> yeah, right. But so the, what do we? Do I just bring it here and make Rick eat it? And the number one thing is you have to get it out of your house, yeah. people. You it's cannot true. have candy in your house. And that goes for birthday parties. That goes for, those for whatever you've got going on. The, the candy and the junk food has to leave your house that night. It cannot stay because you will give into it. Okay. Thank you for the practical, yes. real-life solutions. These are great ideas, you guys. Yeah, and you Rick's going to want to borrow this. Yes. And Mark's <laughs> going to want this. That's right. And this. Um, hey, on a side note, I'm doing that whole drinking a gallon of water a day. I feel a difference. Oh, yeah, we can talk more about yes. that in the commercial break. We'll be right back after this.